here is my Emerson Electric, um, what is it, 73668, I always forget it. This is the last year that they made it, 1934. Normally, um, they did have, I don't know if it was brass blades or painted brass, but I know that there's a version of this that I really want. Uh, even if it's got the same type of blades, like these type of blades, but I don't know if it's brass or not. If it isn't brass, then it's okay. I do want to have a brass one, a 29, or yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a 29668. I don't remember, but that's what I'm hoping to find. And I'll stop rambling, and here it is on low. You can see the cage is kind of like that. Just of how it's how the um, brackets are. It's pretty balanced, which is good. It's got a little vibration, but nothing terrible. It's got a huge motor. It's rated for uh, 1.2 amps, but it's also supposed to be on 110 volts. So let's see what it's on right now. You can see that these brackets are not aligned just because I need to bend this part up a little bit. And then I need to tighten those. Um, acorn nuts before I put it on so that's why it's angled. It was uh, much worse before but now I got a little better just for the video. That one's, that's how it's supposed to be angled like that. It's supposed to be perfectly symmetrical on each side. It's a little off but that doesn't matter. First video that I've actually done of it um, decently. I have run it for overnight for nine hours and the motor on got a little hot just because of these motors that it's not faster so it doesn't run as cool so it's okay for it you know it does draw a lot it's probably just because of the bolts and the combination of it might have run high when it came out of factory because you have a I think it's a 10% give or take 10% off that is safe I mean, yeah. The amount of air it puts out for low. I mean, it's not ridiculously loud. It's definitely. hear this one yet. Even though this one's six minutes, so it's not really fair. This one does have a bigger blade pitch. If this one had the same blade pitch, then the motor would be running way slower. See it on medium? Need to replace the head wire, but I'll do that when I repaint the fan. I think I'm only going to repaint the base and the fan blade and leave the rest original. The motor cut up is still has most of the paint on it. Just has some spots that are missing. Hopefully I can get some touch up paint to get that.
kind of overnight and it just doesn't seem to get hot. So. I'm not running off it, but here's the spin down the line. This is awesome. I will show it. Pretty sure it has a 30 second spin down. Used to have only um, a 20, so I added 10 more seconds. I want it to have as long a spin down as that does, but can't get it all the time. Here it is on low oscillating a little bit just because of space. I don't have that much space up here. I can oscillate more, but let's see how much I'm going to do. I paid over a hundred bucks for this, which is not that bad, even though this isn't the brass one, but definitely good you see the brackets aren't really aligned because they keep on moving when I put it on so it's a little annoying when I restore this I'll definitely make it how it should be normally this would be broken but on these big fans like on these big fans but on this one it's not which is good and it has that cool um, attachment and then it does have a wobble like that I don't know how to fix it but got it all plugged in everything that motor is huge so here's the tag thank you for watching and hope you've enjoyed this spindle I think it's kind of cool